Hello all, welcome to yet another live with Think Institute of Design. So today was a JE session too. So all of you who have been preparing from uh, on the basis of your experience of JE session one and all those who wrote the exam the first time in the session two, uh, we hope your exam was good. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone uh, who was waiting us waiting for us to start the live. Aryan, Mr. Boy. Uh, I'm a hacker. All of you, thanks for waiting. And in today's session, we will be doing a discussion of the questions of the overall analysis of the today's question paper. So our architecture lead faculty, Mr. Febin, uh, will be leading this session. So uh, I'm welcoming Febin, sir, to this session. And uh, for everyone who is watching, uh, don't forget to don't uh, don't feel uh, I'm sorry. Feel free to comment any sort of doubts you have. Uh, you're all, you guys are already commenting. So any doubts, any further doubts you have regarding questions, feel free to comment below. And we will be doing a, a detailed sessions on the on the basis of J session two question paper uh, later on. But today we'll be doing an overall analysis for now and handing over to Febin sir. Uh, so uh, hi sir, welcome to this live. Hello. Hi, sir. How, how was your response overall so far uh, in the uh, about the exam? Um, it's it's moderate actually. Okay, yes. so so uh, we're looking to more details of uh, JBR session two. Okay, over to you, sir. Thank you. Hello, students. Yes. So, uh, so we can uh, directly go to the overall analysis of uh, JBR session two. Okay. So the exam was overall moderate. Okay, easy to moderate, moderate or uh, moderate to difficult reviews uh, were coming. So generally, it's it's moderate. Okay. And this time we had arithmetic reasoning questions, which was uh, new for this year because we had no quantitative or uh, arithmetic reasoning questions for session one. So uh, students were expecting uh, no questions from that particular part for the second exam as well. But uh, this time we had arithmetic reasoning, direction sense, blood relation and few basic mathematics questions from quantitative reasoning. And as always, mathematics is the most uh, difficult part of JBR exam. So this time also, mathematics uh, is comparatively difficult. And architecture awareness compared to last session, session one, architecture awareness questions were easy to moderate. Uh, so our students, uh, most of them answered 45 to 50 questions out of 50. So that means it was easy to moderate level. Then drawing, it was easy, but uh, there was a question which was asked for the first time, the tree house. And the treehouse question was a little unexpected and it was time consuming. Students judged it will take uh, around 30 minutes or 40 minutes, but it, it went beyond that. So that was uh, time consuming and unexpected. And uh, this time we had many full form questions uh, asking for uh, full forms of abbreviations. And then most of these architecture awareness questions were in the pattern of uh, statements or match the following. And all like all, most of the match the following questions were easy because if you match just one uh, set, then automatically you can connect the others. Because looking into the option, it will make it easy because if you connect two links, then uh, it that's clear. Okay, so match the following questions were easy in general. So that is the overall analysis of uh, JBR 2025. So we can uh, look into few questions. So we are not uh, like discussing all these questions uh, in this particular session. So we'll be doing another video on that. So we, we will we'll see some uh, examples. Okay, so we can start with uh, drawing part. So this was the first uh, question. So students were expecting a portrait. Uh, like uh, when they uh, attempted session one, it was a portrait. Uh, it was a Kathakali drawing that were uh, asked to draw. And last year as well, we had portraits, full portraits of human. So uh, this time it was a building. Like uh, like in 2023 paper, it was Kutub Binar that they were, they, were, they were asked to draw. And this time it uh, is India Gate. Okay, so it was asked to draw 
a proportionate sketch of this particular picture and to render using any black and white rendering technique. So the all the criteria are the same. Uh, it, it is it's the same uh, pattern question which was uh, which which being asked for last five or six years in JBR. So it's it's nothing new. It's as expected. Okay. And uh, going to the second question of uh, drawing, we had an or question as expected. In, even in session one, we had or questions uh, in the other uh, part. Okay, the first question was draw a unique tree house using only natural elements, including wooden decks and ladders in your design. Ensure that the tree house beautifully blends with the surroundings nature. Color your tree house using any colors of your choice. Okay, so we, you are supposed to design a tree house and uh, you know beautifully uh, draw it with colors, uh, with the nature, the surroundings, and there should be a blend between your tree house and the surrounding. Okay, so that was a kind of uh, unexpected or a new pattern of question which was asked for JBR. Okay, we were expecting a 2D composition question compared to last uh, year's pattern, 2024 pattern, but it was unexpected. This particular question was uh, unexpected. And yes, Hanina is saying this was so difficult for me. Yes, it was confusing actually. It it, it looks very easy, but it, it's, it's a uh, tough question basically. Okay. And the second question, that's a usual scene drawing question, which we can expect for JBR. Illustrate a vibrant urban food street during a food festival. Include food stalls representing various uh, cuisines, chefs preparing dishes, people waiting for their orders, and festive decorations that capture the lively atmosphere of the event. Use colors to bring the scene into life. Okay, so so I I I think I guess uh, most of you have uh, attempted attempted this particular question because the first one was a uh, little confusing. So this was a usual J wala uh, scene drawing question, right? So that's an urban uh, food street. That's it. So I think the drawing part uh, was moderate. Okay, because this particular question uh, pop up like a new uh, kind of a question, and otherwise it was easy. Okay, so we can uh, look into few architecture awareness question um, we have collected from our students. Yes, which modular proportion commonly used in Roman or classical architecture is approximately equal to 1.618. Okay, so we all know that is a uh, golden ratio. Right. We know that uh, golden ratio is uh, the main proportional proportion that we used in our ancient buildings in Greek, uh, in some other architectural styles and ancient civilization. So, so this is golden ratio. 1.618 is the golden ratio. Yes, that was an easy question. Okay. And yes, um, where is the famous statue of unity located? So uh, it was a tricky question actually because we all know that Statue of Unity is situated in Gujarat but uh, most of you like you know uh, will be unaware about the exact location of Statue of Unity right. So that was asked this time. So St Statue of Unity is in Kavadia in Gujarat. It's in Kavadia. Okay. It's in Kavadia. Okay. So that city was uh, asked for this exam. Okay, so uh, it is the statue of uh, Sardar Vallabhai Patel situated in Gujarat. Okay, and also it is the most, uh, you know, it is it is the tallest uh, statue in the world. Okay, yes. And uh, which building material is used in the facade of Ittimadu Dawla? So uh, that was a moderate level question because Ittimadu Dawla is a popular uh, Mughal uh, monument. You, you guys know that. Right. So it, it is situated in Agra. Okay. Yes. So the main material used in the facade is white marble. It's marble actually. And there is red sandstone. But in facade, you can see these intricate works of uh, white marble. Okay. And the next question. Who is the architect of the popular Sagrada Familia? So Sagrada Familia is one of the most important monuments in the world. Okay. So it's in Spain. Okay, it's in Barcelona in Spain and it was designed by architect Antonio Gaudi. Okay, so that is also an easy question because Antonio Gaudi uh, comes under, under the list of important architects in the world, right? Yes. And then we had a uh, statement question. We, we, we had many statement uh, questions. So this is one 
example from those questions form follows function yeah, okay uh, interesting topic form follows function means the use of a building is more important than its shape uh, or it emphasizes aesthetics more than functionality so it is it's a famous quote coined by architect mies van der rohe form follows function so which one is correct it's the first statement right form follows function so function should be primarily considered right so form follows function means the use of a building is more important than its shape okay function comes first okay yes then which among the following is a famous rotian lattice structure built in france in 1889 so we have uh, like you know many uh, clues and hints here constructed in 1889 then it is in france or paris uh, rotian structure so which one is it is one of the famous monuments in the world right eiffel tower so eiffel tower is constructed with wrought iron and it's in paris you all know it's in france okay yes then sandpaper is made up of which material sandpaper is made up of which material so this was easy because these options were not uh, that tricky okay so the answer is silica sandpaper is made up of silica okay what do annual rings in a tree help us to understand okay what do annual rings help us to understand what so that's the aging okay when uh, you looking to the annual ring you can uh, identify the age of that particular tree okay so we have another statement question granite is considered as a hard stone marble is considered as a soft so stone okay so we have categories like hard stone uh, soft stone like we we have different type of cat uh, category categories in stones we have different classifications uh, chemical physical uh, we, ha we have different properties so this is another classification uh, hard soft so granite is considered as hard stone marble is considered as soft stone both are correct actually okay both the statements are correct yes Yeah, so this this is the question that we have already discussed. What do annual rings in a tree help us to understand? So you can see these rings, right? Okay, so it it helps to understand the age of the tree. So you can you can count literally count these uh rings and you can calculate the age of the tree. Okay, so that those uh, those rings deposit uh, annually. Okay. then yes we have many full form questions so this is one among them what is the full form of ecbc what is the full form of ecbc so it's energy conservation building code okay so it is energy conservation building code yes so uh we have another question related to architects and books documentaries from that particular part which book among the given options is written by architect robert venturi okay so this question we had in our model exams uh, the exact question so the answer is complexity and contradiction in architecture so this is the book written by architect robert venturi not only this question uh, all this question we have discussed or uh, like most of out of 50 i think are 40 plus question were exactly the same as we had in our model exam right so students were really happy they were sharing their experience regarding the exam or oh, we had that question we had this question that one we discussed in class that we had in model exam so we were so happy uh, hearing your reviews right so this is just a glimpse uh, to the uh, architecture uh, bark Okay, J architecture, J B R exam analysis, and yes. Ah, uh, thank you, Sabin sir. Your ah uh, the session was very insightful for those students who have already written the exam, and ah uh, thank you so much for explaining it uh, questions in detail. And students, we'll be doing detailed video of question paper. Ah. Uh, how to solve the question paper how to solve any of the questions you are having doubts in the uh, examination okay so you can let us know uh, below in the comments if there are any specific questions that you want us to uh, tell you the answers to and also uh, uh, guys our nata crash batches are going on and the online batches are upcoming online batches on, are on 10th and 22nd april and our uh, offline batch uh, starts on 7th may so uh 
so thank you all for joining us in today's session so um see you with an another live and guys don't forget to uh, don't forget to join us in the upcoming nata uh, marathon sessions that are just about to begin now we have two sessions today uh, first session will be uh, by nishita ma'am and the second session will be uh, by chandu sir so all those who are preparing for nata exams these sessions will be helpful for you so once again thank you all for joining us in in this session